Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. And today's topic is plat uh, platysmography. What is it? Uh, before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos. And now I come to the topic, what is platysmography? Well, platysmography measures the changes in the volume in different areas of your uh, body, you know, and uh, it measures these changes with the blood pressure cuffs and uh, other sensors. And these are attached to a machine which is called uh, platysmograph. So platysmograph is especially effective in detecting the changes caused by the blood flow. It can help your doctor to determine if you have the blood clot in your arm or in your leg, or it can also help your doctor to calculate the volume of the air your lungs can hold. So this is a very important test. Your doctor may order a limb uh, platysmography if uh, you saw uh, if uh, you show the signs of uh, uh, upper respiratory problems, and these symptoms uh, include pain or maybe discomfort while breathing and the shortness of breath. So your doctor your doctor cannot diagnose the underlying cause of your problem from. Uh, uh, platysmography alone so an abnormal test result can confirm if something something is preventing your lungs from holding as much air as it should uh, the next thing about the details about the procedure you know so there are two types there are the limb uh, platysmography and lung platysmography uh, in case of the limb uh, platysmography it can be performed in a doctor's office or maybe in the hospital. And if you are wearing the pants or maybe the long sleeve shirts, your doctor will ask you to undress and put a hospital gown. And uh, they will ask you to keep one leg and one arm bare. And you will recline on a comfortable position on an examination table, uh, maybe caught or maybe uh, where you, you are relaxed, you know. So your doctor will then uh, place the blood pressure cuff on your leg and on your arm. And they will be uh, most interested in checking your systolic blood pressure. So that's the pressure of your blood in your arm and the leg when the heart uh, contracts, you know. So you can feel a, a little uncomfortable uh, when the blood pressure cuffs tighten around your arm and around your leg you know but you won't feel any real pain and uh, the test usually lasts about uh, maybe 20 to 30 minutes and during this time you will be asked to move as little as possible so stay calm stay uh, don't move and the limb plethysmography is not associated with any risks of uh, or the side effects so unless your doctors tell you otherwise you can resume your regular schedule immediately after the test so there are no uh, risks involved in fact you know uh, the next thing is about the lung uh, plethysmography well a lung plethysmography can be performed in a specialist office or in hospital and uh, you will sit on a small uh, airtight room your doctor will use clips to close all your nostrils and then they will ask you to breathe against a mouthpiece. So some people report becoming short of breath or maybe lightheaded. Uh, let your doctor know if you experience these symptoms during the test. And uh, unless your doctor tells you otherwise, you can resume your activities immediately after the test. So there are no complications associated. So these are the two types of the uh, uh, platysmography limb and the lungs now there are no special requirements to prepare for the uh, these tests so if you are having lung platysmography you should avoid smoking and doing aerobic exercises for eight hours before the test and you should uh, eat uh, lightly because heavy meals can affect your ability to breathe deeply so you should take the light uh, uh, meals you know and uh, the test requires sitting in a small space so it can be hard for the people who have uh, like claustrophobia or fear of small spaces uh, let your doctor know if you have any of these 
Uh, and it's important to tell your doctor if you're taking any medications, especially the medications for the breathing problems like asthma, etc. You know. Uh, the next thing is about the how to interpret the tests. You know. We will start with the limb plethysmography tests. Normally, the systolic blood pressure in your arm and the leg they are similar, and the ankle brachial index is a measurement which is used to check the potential problems and to calculate your uh, ankle brachial index. Divide the highest systolic blood pressure reading from your leg by the highest reading from your arm. Okay, and the, and the normal uh, like ankle brachial index uh, it falls between 0 0.90 to 1.30. And if your ABI falls outside of this range, you may have a narrow or the blocked artery. And your uh, doctor can order additional tests to determine the exact nature of the problem. Now come to the interpretation of the lung uh, plethysmography. Well, the lung pl uh, plethysmography measures how much air you can hold in your lungs. And the normal range depends on your age, your gender, your body size, and the level of fitness. So this test is a uh, starting point of your diagnosis. And abnormal results confirms that there is, there is a problem with your lung capacity, but it does not tell your doctor that what problem might be. So your doctor may have to do additional tests to discover why your results are abnormal. And the possibility, possibilities include like a, a breakdown of the lung tissues, a problem with the muscles around your chest wall, and they will include problems with your lungs ability to contract and expand properly. Uh, so in a case of abnormal uh, results, your doctor will order the further tests to find out uh, the exact cause of this problem. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos to support this channel. Thank you. Goodbye.